Welcome to worship with the Universalist Unitarian Church of Peoria. My name is the Reverend Jennifer Innes. It is my great joy to be the minister with this congregation of people of all ages at all stages of life, and in this case, all kinds of creatures today as well. This is a beloved community striving to live into its mission of embracing freedom, loving wholeheartedly, growing in mind, body, and spirit, and adding to the wholeness and the healing of the world. We are unapologetically progressive in welcoming people of all ethnicities and races, sexual orientation and gender identities, social and economic situations and abilities, and politics. We advocate for human rights and we strive to be good stewards of this earth. And in living that mission, in recognizing the network of relationships of which we are a part, we take a moment in our service as we have been requested to recognize that this is the ancestral home of the Peoria people. They and other nations were here long before for other nations, the first European settlers came down the Illinois River. And so we take a moment in our service to honor the Illinois people, the Peoria people, for who they were and for who they are today. I want to thank folks for joining us in person and online. We recognize how precious it is to come together to be with other people in all the ways that we can to expand our circles of care and kindness. So if you are new to us, please help us get to know you. We have plenty of name tags. Stay for visiting and coffee in Fellowship Hall, on the patio, or on Zoom after the service. And I want to invite you at this moment to turn your respective devices to worship mode, whether silent or vibrate. We have the handy dandy illustration to always help us. We have a minute, we have a tech ministry if you ever need additional help. Uh, for today, I have a couple of notes. One is that we have um, a special annual service for today, which is the blessing of the animals. Uh, so I want to, yay, it's the blessing of the animals. We have all the creatures. I know we have, some of us might have brought photos or mementos, and so I want to invite you to hold on to those. We'll bring them forward at the different points of the blessing in the service. And this is also a moment to remember those creatures that are with us in spirit only and were with us in body. This is an all-ages service, so uh, I want to invite children and youth to remain with us for today. Ch nursery care is always available. Um, and today is a special dispensation for the non-human creatures to be with us in the sanctuary as well. I know, it's so exciting to be in here today. Also today after service is questions and answers and coffee with the minister. We'll meet in the conference room shortly after. Uh, I want to invite folks to also pay attention to uh, next week. Uh, next week is the question box sermon. This is where we kind of create the service together. I want to invite folks to think about what are your questions uh, that you may have kind of in you that you want to bring to uh, bring to the moment of the service. And if you bring them to the service next week, then I take the sermon time to answer as many as I can. And also, uh, it's also a moment for me to kind of get a sense for what is in our collective mind as we're entering into the new church here uh, next month. And it helps me kind of get a sense of planning for the services as well. So and if you won't be here in person, I want to invite you to send them to me in the course of the week by email or text or so on as well. Uh, also, I want to invite you to take a note of the announcements this week, the number of activities, but also after service next Sunday is a chance to talk with me about music and the choir. We need a little bit of reconstituting after some changes uh, in staff and people. So we want to also have I know it's important to the congregation to have a wonderful music program. So let's have a little conversation about what we might do for this coming year. And now I want to invite you to rise in body or spirit for our opening hymn, number 38, Morning Has Broken.
And let me invite Kate forward to offer our opening words. Come hoof and trunk, and tail and horn, and paw and wing and claw. Come bird and reptile, mammal born, all full of nature's law. Bring bark and crow and ribbit too, and silent stare and hiss. Bring purr and trill and warble too, and voice no ear can miss. We gather here, each life and all, to celebrate and sing, to honor creatures large and small. His holiness we bring. I invite Becca Lachlan forward for our chalice lighting. Uh, and Nora. We light this chalice in honor of the animal realm, fur and hoofed, two legged, four legged, many legged. Fanged and clawed, gentle and fierce, wild and tame. May we remember that all animals are our relatives, worthy of our care and respect. For today's service, we are celebrating and cherishing the fullness of life, the creatures in their many forms, especially the ones that are in our lives are as pets or are in our care in so many ways. So I want to ask, when you think of animals, what are your favorites? Which ones are the most interesting as well? I know some of us got to be part of the touch tank when the sharks came at the Riverfront Museum a few weeks ago, right? Some of the many creatures. I want to invite Dave Grebner forward for our reading from the Reverend Gary Kowalski. The range of animals from A to Z. For alligators, apricots, acorns, and apple trees. Oh, yeah, let's we'll start all over again. We give thanks for the earth and its creatures. We are grateful from A to Z. For alligators, apricots, ac acorns, and apple trees. For bumblebees, bananas, blueberries, and beagles. Coconuts, crawdads, cornfields, and coffee. Daisies, elephants, and flying fish. For groundhogs, glaciers, and grasslands. Hippos and hazelnuts, icicles, and iguanas. For juniper, jackrabbits, and june bugs. Kudzo and kangaroo. Lightning bugs and licorice for mountains and milkweed and mistletoe, narwhals and nasturtium otters and ocelots, for peonies and persimmons and polar bears, quahogs and Queen Anne's lace, for raspberries and roses, salmon and sassafras, tornadoes and tulip wood, urchins and valleys, and waterfalls, yaks and yams and yogurt. We are grateful, good earth, not least of all, for zinnias, zucchinis, and zebras, and for the alphabet of wonderful things that are simple as A, B, C. Continuing in that spirit of gratitude from A to Z, I offer my thanks 
in the word that begins with why, which is for all the ways that we say yes. Yes is a moment that we offer in this time for the offering of our congregation. It's not just a stale habit. It is not just, um, uh, oh, yes, it's another Sunday. We need to make the offering. It is an opportunity to recommit to this place and this people and all, all who are interconnected with this place. Our offering is an affirmation. It is a yes. When we give, we say yes to something we value. And with our gifts freely given, we say yes to the values of our faith. So with an offering such as this, it helps us practice Unitarian Universalism within and beyond our congregation as tools to empower our mission. And also part of our yes and the abundance of that is that we give it back out into the world uh, with our share the plate practice. Each week, half of the undesignated fund the offering goes to our monthly recipient, and this month we are sharing the place with Hope Renewed Youth Conference, provides scholarships to candidates in professions of teaching and law enforcement, um, and this is especially focused on youth who will remain in Peoria for uh, vocations such as teaching and law enforcement and add to the racial diversity of these professions here as well. So half the undesignated plate goes to our recipient, half goes to the church. Please use the envelopes or the QR code to designate uh, what your gift would like to be. And I appreciate all of the gifts that we receive in this day. During our music for meditation, the ushers will pass the plate. And after the plates have passed, I will start our candle lighting so that you may light, um, light a candle for what is in your mind and on your heart. Will the ushers please come forward?
From my colleague, the Reverend Leslie Takahashi. Despite distance and fear, we are connected. Despite loneliness and change, we are connected. Across different experiences and lives, we are connected. Even in the face of inevitable losses of life, we are connected. When we wish to laugh, we are connected. When we need to mourn, we are connected. Across a nation divided, we are connected. Even when we dance alone in a room, we are connected. In the heat of the sun, we are connected. In the glow of the stars, we are connected across the limits of our imagination. We are connected. And even, even when nature trembles, we are connected. This is the moment for the sharing of the joys and sorrows of the congregation. And we have a note to keep in our minds and hearts those who are struggling with mental illness, with financial burdens and difficulties about receiving the kind of care that would help them come out of homelessness. We keep them in our hearts. It may be us as well. I want to offer a note of concern and a note of appreciation 
A little less than two weeks ago, some bad actors got access to our church directory and sent texts impersonating me and asking for folks to buy and send gift cards in large amounts of money. Those requests were not from me. It was a big scam. And I want to thank everyone who called and checked and let us know that this was happening. The ask was just convincing enough to make some folks wonder, and some folks did indeed buy cards. I know. And if you did, please contact the office to let us know. It's been reported as fraud. We want to make sure we understand the scope of this, and some folks have been able to stop the, um, to stop the loss of those funds. We have already changed passwords and are adding changes into our security to prevent this kind of breach from happening again. And the scammers are getting very good at sounding plausible. It is, in a word, despicable. And I would not make such a request for this kind of gift card. Please check with additional sources before agreeing to give money in such a way. And I also want to offer the note that so many of you wanted to be helpful. So many of you wanted to respond and, and do what you could in that moment. And in that way, it kind of warms my heart that you trusted me to ask only if something was truly important. And because there are sometimes those kinds of needs. So I actually kind of felt a little bit of yay in the moment because people were just wanting to be so generous and truly helpful. And for that, I thank everybody. And I recognize that a scam like this makes it hard to know what to trust. And by all means, please keep mindful, please keep wondering and asking. It never hurts to check. Staff and volunteers are working to keep our information secure, and it's really okay to ask if you ever have a question about a message from me or anyone at church. I want to offer us one more moment, one more moment to share in the quiet that we might tend to our bodies and our breath in this singular moment, the one we know we have. I invite you to breathe with me and pause. Amen, salam, shalom, and blessed be. I want to invite us into singing our next hymn, There is a Love, and it is projected onto the screen. We have some of the lyrics in the order of service as well. Sherry will play once, and then we will sing four times, I and we, and I and we. Please rise in body or spirit and let us sing.
So it occurs to me for the blessing of the animals that we might have the question, what is a blessing? What is a blessing? What are we doing today? And to answer that, I have part of a story from the book Gilead by Marilyn Robinson is a novel that takes the form of a letter or a journal of a dying elderly Congregationalist minister in Gilead, Iowa. And he's writing to his seven-year-old son in 1956. And it's written so that one day the boy will know something about his father's life and character. And in this passage, the Reverend John Ames reflects on a moment from his childhood. He describes it uh, as being from, as he grew up in a very religious community where the church had a big impact. And so once, as a child, his, he and his young friends decide to baptize a litter of cats. I'll say again, baptize a litter of cats. And the baptizing uh, is a form of blessing that includes dabbing or sprinkling water. In some traditions, it's a full dunk. And in case you don't know, water and cats make for an energetic combination. Now he says, now, this might seem a trivial thing to mention, considering the gravity of the subject, but I don't feel it is. We were very pious children, he writes, from pious households in a fairly pious town, and this affected our behavior considerably. And once we baptized a litter of cats. It occurred to one of the girls to swaddle them up in a doll's dress. And there was only one dress. They blessed the cats one at a time in said dress. Uh, there was just as well, since the cats could holler, hardly, hardly tolerate a moment in the one dress and would have been uh, unswaddled as soon as they were christened in any case. I myself moistened their brows, repeating the full Trinitarian formula. And their grim and crook-tailed mother found us baptizing away by the creek and began carrying her babies off by the napes of their necks. We lost track of which was which, but we were fairly sure that some of the creatures had been born away still in the darkness of paganism. And that worried us a great deal. I still remember how those warm little brows felt under the palm of my hand. Everyone has petted a cat, but to touch one like that with the pure intention of blessing it is a very different thing. It stays in the mind. For years, we would wonder what, from a cosmic viewpoint, we had done to them. I mean, it seems to me a real question. This is, there is reality in blessing. It doesn't enhance sacredness, but it acknowledges it. And there is power in that. I have felt it pass through me, so to speak. The sensation is one of really knowing a creature. I mean, really feeling its mysterious life and your own mysterious life at the same time. Here ends the story. So the blessing we offer in our service today is just this. It's honoring the sacredness in the creatures we love. It is feeling our lives and their lives at the same time and to conduct this moment in community, framed by the larger natural world next to the beautiful woods, we do this together and enrich each other. We offer our corner of the cosmos to the beloved neighbors of many forms. And we do so with a gesture of humility and recognition, not domination. We are part and parcel of this earth. 
Now, the practice of blessing of the animals in this way comes specifically through us to the Christian tradition with St. Francis of Assisi, knowing, known for preaching to the birds, for his love of all animals, including worms. He is known by some as the patron saint of ecology. I mean, that's a quite a legacy just to begin with. But this deliberate pause and acknowledgement comes to us through our long connection with the natural world as a holy place, as a place of revelation and meditation, and our efforts to care and protect for the one earth that is our home. This comes to us from all the sources around us, including in our growing ministry with the pagan group, the Keepers of the Great Grove, we have that additional place of connection. So I invite you to join me in this blessing. Any one of us can offer a blessing to the other. Every one of us can feel a connection, really knowing in a creature that pulse, that life. No one has to invite an animal to be who they are. They are, in fact, their full selves. The act of blessing is done by humans, I will say, is probably good for us, too, to remember again that every furred, feathered, spinned, scaled, crawling thing is itself. And in this way, the act of blessing is good for us. It is an act of blessing that is an effort at a deeper understanding of ourselves of our neighbors, and of this existence of which we are a part. And I want to begin this moment of blessing with remembering those who have died. So I want to honor the creatures that were in our lives and now live simply in our hearts and memories, whether recent or long past. And if you would, I want to invite you to call out their name, and I will share it with them through the microphone, please. I want to invite you to call out the name of a beloved late friend. Gracie? Mm -hmm. Oscar? Zeus? Garfield? Scooby? Buddy? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what was that? Finn? Mm -hmm. Angeline, Lucy, I'm going to miss him. Spetzel, Spencer, excuse me, thank you, yes. Brona, Bruno, oh, there we go. Trouble, oh. Was that Trouble the Danger Cat? I mean, really, Trouble. Sorry, what was that? Zorro. But hold on. Let me do one at a time. Yes. Wong 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 Fu. See, this has got to be the hardest moment I have here. White boy. Oh, white boy. Shakespeare. I'm sorry. Mosey. Josie. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, black. Flapjack. Can I just love how all the richness of the names? I'm sorry. Sweetie. Mm hmm. Hershey. Percy. Mm hmm. Hold it one more. Biggie. Piper. Yeah. Cinnamon. Mm hmm. Maisie. Yeah. I'm sorry, which one? Moo Moo. Yes. Chuck? Chubbs. Chubbs. Which one? Try it again. Savannah. Thank you. Elsa? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the abundance. I'm going to not get them all. Yes, I'm sorry. Bean? Yeah. I'm sorry. Frisco, 
Any? Emmy. Mm-hmm. Bug? Zena. Mm-hmm. So many, right? I'm sorry? Nala. I'm sorry? Bo? Ho? Mm-hmm. Yeah, ho? Yeah. Blanc, was it? Blanco. Oh, my goodness. Maisie? Daisy. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. I, what's that? Varna? Cheryl? Shannon? Shadow? Okay. Mimi? Yeah. Chipper? Dakota? Oh, my gosh, you all. We have so many in our voice and in our heart, don't we? Jimmy? I have a couple. I have the cats I grew up with, which was Shirley, you know, like Laverne and Shirley. And, and Hobbit, that's an obvious one, right? Sandy, yeah. All right. Picasso? Picasso. Well, I want to invite us, because I'm sure there's so many that have been with us in our lives, for their lives are much shorter than ours, and this is sometimes a really hard thing, right? We just want to recognize all that has been named, all that still are with us in our hearts. And I want to offer, I want to ask uh, Jesse Lachlan to come forward and offer the poem that is the blessing for the pets that are past. What it means when your best friend has four or so legs by Reverend Julian Hamaika Soto. What it means to have a pet is to love someone who speaks a language you do not. A dog will bow and prance, a cat will purr and blink, a guinea pig will wriggle and squeak. A long time ago, a friend of mine had a dog with soft ears and considered herself the pup's guardian. A gentle way to think of protecting and caring for a friend. Such a small gesture of respect for a source of boundless love. The dog's long pink tongue lolling in a goofy grin. The cat convinced that kneading and grooming is essential work of the day. A bird asking for a treat, bending a wing to wave. These are friends. They are loves. It is kind of a surprise that you should love someone so much who would eat the butter on the table if they could get away with it. And who gets endless hair on the sofa when they aren't even supposed to be on the furniture. When they are called companion animals, it is such an open and tender truth. The endless cuddles, tricks, and loyalty the comfort of fingers to fur and big, adoring eyes. These are friends. They are loves. They stretch our hearts and fill them with an abundance of kindness. And when they are gone, our hearts remain larger. Their absence leaves room for expanses of grief. Their love champions and companions us still.
So we have come to the act of love that is blessing. So I want to invite you to come forward down the middle of the sanctuary to bring your friend forward or to bring forward a photo or something that represents the friend and to receive the blessing, whether it's the actual friend or on behalf of the friend. So let me invite you. You've been so patient. Everybody's been so good today. Okay. <gasps> sit, 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 Jolene, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, Jolene, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, good, good. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> So we bless Jolene and all who care for her, that she is blessed in the all fullness of creation. Um, and we have representing Scooby Grebner. And so we bless and recognize Scooby and the human who cares for her, that she and Dave are both blessed. And he and Dave are both blessed in creation. And who do we have here? Johnny. Hello. Hello. You sit. Sit. Oh, good. Good. So we bless Johnny. We bless Johnny. And they're human, that they are seen and wondrous in creation. Okay. Who is next? Josie, we bless Hello, jo Oh, good sitting, Josie. We bless Josie and their humans. They are blessed and seen in all of creation. Thank you, Josie. <laughs> Hello, and who do we have here? George. George has three legs. Ah. So we bless George and as humans, that they are seen and blessed in all of creation. Thank you, George. Thank you. <laughs> and we have Picasso. And we bless and love Picasso and his humans, that they are seen in all of creation. <laughs> and who do we have? Cleo? Cleo. Ah, so we see and bless Cleo and her human, that they are blessed and seen in all of creation. <laughs> Poppy. Hello, Poppy. So we see and bless Poppy. They and their human are seen and blessed in all of creation. Who do we have? Lucy. Yeah. Ah, so Lucy is in. So we see and bless Lucy who has been taken into a loving home. We see and bless Lucy and her adults, her humans, that they are blessed in creation as well. Okay, who do we have? Boo, we have Boo, who was found in the woods in New York and flew to Chicago. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. That's even better than getting blessed by water. <laughs> and he is the love of Sherry's life. So we bless Boo and Sherry, that they are seen and blessed in all of creation. And who do we have? Old man Bob. Bob is an old man. Oh, so we see Bob in all of his years. And we see Bob and his humans, that they are blessed in all of creation. Oh, and friends too. Hideout, yeah. And Penny. I know sometimes you can tell. So we bless Hideout and Penny and their humans and Bob, that they are seen and blessed in all of creation. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yes. And we have another Bob. We have Bob the dog. Bob the dog. Dog needs, oh, dog needs extra care. So we see and bless Bob the dog and his humans, that they are blessed and seen in all of creation. Yes. Oh, let's go over there. Yeah, okay, let's look at that. Hello, and who is this? Oct? Ogden? Ogden? Hello, Ogden. So we see and bless Ogden and his humans, that they are seen and blessed in all of creation. <laughs> Do we have? Oh, so this is Spencer who just passed. Oh, so we, we see Pen Spencer who just passed this year and bless Spencer and his spirit and the humans who loved him and cared for him in this life. And we see and bless them for all creation. Oh, and who do we have? Sweetie. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> Very attentive, sweetie. So we see and bless sweetie and their adults, their humans, that they are seen and blessed in all of creation. Who else do we have? Bobo. Hello, Bobo. So we see and bless Bobo and his humans that he is seen and blessed in all of creation. All right, and who else do we have? Fern and Lily. Oh, there they are. So we see and bless Fern and Lily and their human and that they are blessed in all of creation. Okay, who else do we have? Lucy. Mm -hmm. We see and bless Lucy and her humans that they are seen and blessed in all of creation. All right, and who do we have? Hank and Petunia. We see and bless Hank and Petunia and their humans, that they are seen and blessed in all of creation. Hank is Garfield? Oh, yes, I can see that. All right, do we have... We have another person. One more? One more. Hello. We don't want to miss it. I know. Oh, can you sit? That's okay. Okay, we can. Oh, good sit. That was a good sit. I saw the sit. Oh, yes. Oh, so much sitting. Okay. And I'm sorry, what was his name? Duncan. So we see. Ah, so found and taken in. Best dog ever from Chicago. There we go. Oh, good sitting. So we see and bless Duncan and his humans. And they are seen and blessed in all of creation. All right. Very good. We'll go this way and that way. All right. For my colleague, the Reverend Maureen Kaloran, for the blessing of animal companions, we give thanks for the beautiful ones whose fur is silky and whose tails are long, whose feathers are brilliant and voices are splendid. We give thanks for the frantic ones, for the runts, for the hungry, for the ones who run for the food bowl or pat as though this is life's last possible gift, we give thanks for the obnoxious ones, the heads that butt against us as we try to sleep, the bodies that refuse to learn discretion as they make digestive gifts, we give thanks for those who bark and purr and growl and mew, for all those who squeak or squawk or snarl or hiss, we give thanks. For the animals known to us in whose niche the life's web is fragile, whose lives are insecure, for all those who care for them and wish them well, we give thanks. 
Blessed are the animals. Blessed are the creatures who live with us and need our care. Blessed are the mammals and the reptiles and the birds who teach us that we, that we are not alone. I want to invite us to sing our closing hymn. I invite us to sing and rise in body or spirit. We will sing, from you I receive, to you I give. Listen once and sing four times. I invite Pat Denzer forward to extinguish our chalice. The chalice is now extinguished, but its light lives in on the minds and hearts and the souls of each one of you. Carry that flame with you as you leave this place and share it with those you know, with those you love, and most especially with those you have yet to meet. Laura Kim Joyner, who's a Unitarian Universalist minister and a veterinarian, from our hearts and minds into our hands, may blessings flow. Around and around in the circle of friends, may blessings flow. Around and around our beloved earth, may blessings flow. For all beings, may blessings flow. Our worship is ended. Let our service begin. <laughs> 